Hey guys, it's Quayu here, and we are playing Play Once More. Well, we're playing Mystic Quest, but this is Play Once More. Anyways, in the game, we're in the Ice Pyramid, and I currently just cleared out all the enemies in the room because there's no one new, and we are really running out of bombs. Uh, but that's really not too much of an issue. Mainly, well, I'll, you'll see why in a minute. Um... No, well, that's not really an issue now. We got more bombs. Awesome. Okay. Anyways, that being said... Uh, there's still more bombs here. You might wonder what that thing in the middle is. Well, we'll see what it is in a minute. I am... Oh, man. What the, What did I do that for? Okay. Oh, great. Uh, fantastic. I may as well play this game logically instead of speeding up through this whole thing. It probably makes this game go by a lot faster, but... Come on. What the hell's the point in playing a game if I... Uh, you're not going to piss yourself off every once in a while. Anyways, but that being said, that brings us back to these chests here, which is what I was trying to go for in the first place. More bombs. Uh, oh, fantastic. Well, a lot more bombs. Now they're really throwing, uh, throwing bombs at us now. Okay, that's perfect. Anyways. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter now. Well, actually, there's a reason why they're giving us bombs. Because of this thing in the middle, you blow it up. It makes a little hole there. Oh, and I should mention one more thing. These chests are really diluted. Like, you'll see why once... Uh, you'll see why in this episode later on. But... There you go. We keep falling down the pillar in this ice pyramid. Until you get here, where you... You gotta poke a poke your sword with like, these statues here and then it opens that door all right now as you can see there's a shitload of enemies here I'm gonna fight them all off screen so I will be right back okay I am back anyways I lo I lost a lot of bombs and you might notice there is a red important chest there this chest contains the night sword Something that is stronger than the than bombs, I think. Actually, I think it is stronger than the bomb. Let's see, attack power 100. Ooh, 112. But I'm running out of bombs, so I might not want to waste some. Eh, whatever. Uh, I cleared a lot of enemies out, even a few of the enemies up ahead. I don't know if I cleared them all out, but um, yeah, it doesn't matter now. Anyways, this guy here, he's, uh, he's, well, he's making his boobs dance. Anyways. Mwaha! I'm enjoying our little game. Really? What game are we playing here? Monopoly? I like Monopoly. No, I don't. Um, but anyways, yeah. That guy it will be important in a minute because... Well, don't mean to spoil it, but... He's, uh... He's kind of the guy who's taking uh, control of the crystal we're looking for. Let's see, did we complete all the enemies here? Uh, well, here we go. This room here. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Now I open those doors. Can we get these chests? No, we can't. You get the chest when we're, when you're on uh, the level of this floor. It's really dumb how they uh, did that. But I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. It's kind of dumb. Um, and it really screwed me up the first time I played I was like, what the hell? I can't get these chests. It's like, is, is this game glitched or something? No, you have to be on this level of the floor. The, the level we started on when we started this video. You gotta be on this level of the floor and actually get those chests. They're not nothing important either. I think they're like arrows or maybe heal potions or something like that. But, yeah, it's, I, don't know, I don't know why they did that. It's not like there's any point to them. Yeah, you know what? Um, we're gonna need to put some seeds on her. We're gonna... We're going to place our seed on Phoebe. Because... We need to save. You think you're a knight, huh? Fwaha! Take this! Alright. We are now at... Uh, this is our sixth boss. Well, our second big boss. Anyways, this is why you want to... This is, remember the seeds you got in the Bone Dungeon? Yeah, this is why you want to save them. Because you don't get them... Anytime, like, before this... Uh, anytime other than that, before this part of the game. 
And yeah, this guy's weak against fire for well, obvious reasons. I don't think you really want to let Phoebe die because she's the one who has the, uh, the cure spell or the life spell. Yeah, we're just going to burn this guy to the ground. This guy hits hard too. Like, he, has, he does 200 hit points of damage. Yeah, like, she's strong against that attack, and... She's like a wall in this battle. But yeah, she's strong against that attack, and... She still takes a shitload of damage. Oh, this is our last fire. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use our second seed on you. This, uh, this battle actually can be pretty tough if uh, you're not prepared for it. Oh wow, I think she's out of, uh, eh, whatever. We got lots of fire left, I'm not gonna use, uh, C on her. Because, uh, this guy is pretty much almost dead. There's not much left of this guy. Just so, oh no, she's not out of fire yet, what the hell, why is she using her bone arrows? The crystal. I'll go back to Aquaria and see if the ice melted. Don't forget to see Grandpa. Right. Bye. And like Tristam, Phoebe just ditches us right in the middle of this dungeon. Oh, man, we gotta walk out of this dungeon. It's a good thing I killed all the guys in the way. And we got our... Oh yeah, we got our river coin, by the way. Oh shit, I forgot to get those chests. Whatever. I'm not too concerned about them. Oh, man. Uh, oh, there's not much left to this uh, dungeon. We're almost out of here. There is a spell that makes you exit areas, but we just don't have it yet. They really should give it to us, like, earlier in the game than, well, by the time they do give it to us. But it doesn't really matter now, we're almost out of here. If I can find the doors, that is. And if I can find my way out, which I will, eventually. Uh, no, this way. So I got sidetracked there for a second. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Um, well, I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm thinking about the game. I just got sidetracked. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. But this is the exit to this friggin' area. And it looks like the ice melted. Fantastic. And, yeah, we cannot get back to this place because it's probably all water now. And we can't swim, apparently. I don't think there is a swimming level in swimming dungeon in this game. So, no, I don't think we can. Well, actually, we can swim here. Well, we're not really swimming, but. That being said. Phoebe's right here. 
Thanks, have you met Grandpa? He's in the tunnel under this house. So we gotta go under the house somehow. Well, the way to do it is by going to take, by taking the ladders. That, that fucking old lady was in my way. Yeah, this part's dreadful. This part, like, walking down. Well, I don't know, are we walking down? We're crossing, hey, yeah, I guess we're walking down. You can see the waterfall and the stairs. And I always thought that this part here was, like, a secret area. I don't know why, but... That'd be a pretty decent secret area, if uh, you ask me. Yeah, this tape takes forever, but we are almost out of here. And, well, we're almost, we're almost there. We're there. And this guy must be Spencer. The ice has melted. How did it happen? Phoebe and I restored the crystal of water's light. Then you're the knight of the prophecy. The shield has found its owner. A shield used by a knight in days gone by. Captain Mac found it. Captain Mac, I've heard that name before. For years, Mac's been studying a prophecy. On his way back from doing some research, the lake dried up and his ship ended up on the rock ledge. But that's no problem. If we dig from here, we'll be able to reach the ship. Anyway, here's a key. The shield is hidden in the focus tower. The Venus key. By the way, Fireberg's been having some strong earthquakes lately. Okay, and that's our next destination is Fireberg. And I think the next dest next area... Oh yeah, by the way, there's a little spot over here. When I was here the first time, I was I tried my best to figure out how the heck you get over there, but... You gotta be patient. You'll get there eventually. No, but the next area is like pretty much my favorite area in the game. Um, yeah, mainly because it's, it's, just a, it's just my favorite area. I find it to be the funnest area. And I'm doing it, I'm tired of just walking around. Wow, we're really low on bombs. It's kind of, uh, kind of sucks because bombs are going to be important in, uh, in a few minutes. Well, I think we're done with this area. Oh, shit, we got, uh, we've got some battlefields to go through, okay. Um, I'm actually low on health, so I don't really want to go through them right now. The Wintery Temple, what's in here? I think this place is just here for show. Because I don't think you can get in the middle quite yet. So I'm not going to worry about it. Yet. Anyways, let's go to the focus tower. Uh, did I go the right way? I don't know if I went the right way. Ooh, maybe I did actually. Oh, thank god for bombs, because we definitely need enough to at least get this part. If you didn't have the key, you wouldn't be able to open this chest. The key Spencer gave us, the Venus key. Because, as you can see, my character says, it opened. And I don't know why you would say something like that. It'd be like, it opened. Yeah, we know that. We see it in the game. But uh, we have the Venus shield. I don't know what is so special about this shield, because it's not the best shield yet in the game. But it does protect us against... Is that fire? No, that can't be fire. I think it protects us against, like... Is that thunder? No, that's blind, I think. I think it protects us against blind attacks. Yeah, there's no way this protects us against fire, because our next area kind of, uh... The area we just went through is the water ice area. 
and this area coming up is like the fire area. Some awful news made Captain Mac race from his home. Anyway, seek Reuben and Fireberg. Say, what's this statue for? Okay, I wouldn't really call this a statue. It's more like a block. Like with a creepy demon hat on it. No, I, let's see if I can do this right. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Okay. Hopefully I didn't fuck myself. And don't leave yet, because there's a chest right here. Blizzard. Uh, you might think because in the area we're coming up to is like, Blizzard's gonna be useful, but this spell sucks. Like, it real it blows ass. Yeah, it's strong against fire type guys, but, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have get some, some weapons in this area, and they're gonna be so much better than, than that piece of shit spell. But that being said, I digress. And I say we move on, and we'll fight, I'll fight these battlefields off, off screen. Because they don't have any guys that we haven't seen before. I think they have like the crabs and the uh, the squid guys. Uh, no, wait, hang on. I think I no, maybe I went the right way. Cause we have to go through here first. Because we have more bombs. Awesome news. And my character says it opened again. Great, we know that. Because we have the river coin, the river key, we can go through this door. Yeah, so we need to go this way. Okay, makes sense. Now, is there anything important over here? No, okay. Just wanted to check. Man, I just cannot wait for this week to be over because it's... The semester is over, and, you know, I had to risk a summer to do this semester, so it kind of blows, but it's kind of the reason why I haven't been catching up on these videos. But I'm here now. Yeah, every time you go to this, uh, go to an area, you're, the ground shakes. And I'm going to fight these battlefields off screen. I think one of those ha have something important in them. Anyways. A guy, a guy came in saying he could open any lock. Okay. Anyway, this is my, like my favorite town because, first of all, the music is a lot more cooler or whatever. They live in like teepees or I don't know what you call these. Are these like little huts or no? They're not teepees, but uh, like they have huts. But like the hotel is like a neon sign or whatever, and I think that's pretty cool for some reason. But the great news is that now you can buy some seeds, and that's awesome. Oh wow, we don't have a lot of gold. I don't want to spend all my money on on seeds, so we're just gonna buy twenty for now. Want to listen to this band? Yes. And check it out. Grandma's rocking out to to a '50s rock band. Well, a '50s cover band. That makes sense. This game came out in the early 90s, and I guess people who were teenagers back in the 50s are, are old back then. I don't know. I don't know. Nice to see you again, kid. And that's Tristan. So he can't really say anything yet. And there's nothing important up here. Yeah. No, I don't think there's ever anything important up there. Hmm, this, uh, this little hut here has a door on it. It's locked. Okay. One more thing I'd like to just show off here. That little door at the bottom left-hand corner. For the longest time, I could never figure out how to get there. Until, like, a few years after I first played this game. I decided to go over here and look. It takes me all the way over here. And all it does is just get get to heal potions. I know it's ridiculous, but for the longest time I, I could never figure out how to get there. So there you go. 
What do you want? There are tons of monsters in the mine up north. Actually, the mine's not really north. It's more northwest, but... Close enough. Hey, this area looks familiar. How about buying my battle axe for 500 gold? Yes. Alright, we got an awesome axe. Um, actually, how is it? I don't think the axe is that good. Oh! The axe is very good. It's stronger than the jumbo bomb. Okay, it's fantastic. Alright. It is stronger than the night sword. Well, the night sword was short-lived, but... The battle axe is going to be even shorter-lived because... You're going to see why in a sec. The mask lets you see the monsters through the gas in the volcano. Yeah, that'll be important later on. It's kind of like the mirror. A volcano seemed odd, so my husband, er, Arion, climbed it with his friend. But his buddy freaked out, ran home, and locked himself in. A boulder is keeping us from saving Arion. You're Reuben, huh? Huh, false. Is he Reuben? Have you heard of the Crystal of Fire? I, can, I can't deal with that now. I've got to help Dad. Well, why don't you let me help you? He's stuck behind a boulder. There'd be no problem if uh, we'd had a meta mega grenade, but only Dad's friend can use them. Where's the guy's house? In this town, but he shot himself in. We'll pay him a visit anyway. Come on. Wow, like, uh, these characters really come to conclusions really fast. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know, like, it's like, uh, you know, well, yeah, your name's Ruben, right? Well, I didn't know your name was Ruben. I don't know, wait, did, did, did someone, did Spencer mention a guy named Ruben, or, or did someone mention a guy named Ruben? I don't, I don't remember, but then again, you know, maybe I'm going crazy. Yeah, but I don't know, some, why did my guy know about the Crystal of Fire? I don't think that was mentioned. Nice to meet you again, kid. Okay, hang on, what are we supposed to do? hate to be this way, but you're supposed to say something to me. You're the guy that that, that dumb bitch was talking about at the beginning of, uh, that, that person there, at the beginning of, uh, walking into this town. Yeah, okay, so we know it's locked. What's up? Okay, so we had to go, like, again after we got Ruben for some reason. See, that's a dumb mechanic in the game. They shouldn't make us do that. But they'll make, they'll come to conclusions right away about the Crystal of Fire and how this guy's name is Ruben. We went to the guys, we went to the house in the pit, but the guy wouldn't let us in. You two want in? Then take this. Okay, so is this guy a treasure hunter or is he a thief? Because I don't know, how the hell did he get that key? Reminds me of that one guy off of Final Fantasy VI. Like, uh, Locke or whatever his name is. He says, oh yeah, I'm a treasure hunter, but you know you're a fucking thief, buddy. Anyways, wow, we're running low on heal potions, however. Oh, Ruben kind of sucks because he only has a life spell. Useful because we don't have that yet. But he doesn't have any other spells with him. He doesn't have any attack spells. His, uh, he has his weapon. The Morning Star is awesome. So that kind of makes up for all the spells he lacks. He's strong against water and he's strong against fire. We can't go up. We gotta show him. So he has a he has this thing and he has this thing. And yeah. So yeah, that that's what that's the fire symbol. So we're not strong against fire yet. We're strong against what is that? I think that, I swear to God that's blind. But yeah, we're strong. He's strong against fire. So that's that's a bonus because well, we're in a fire area, and we have a, we've collected a lot of uh, these uh, items here. I do plan on filling this, and I do plan on filling our armor. I've collected all the armor we've walked into as of this point in the game. And my character says, for the third time in this episode, it opened. And we just walked in automatically. Yeah, we're just going to ru rush into your house, and, you know, we're not we're not going to steal anything, but... And we can't go in here yet. I don't, oh, fuck, where does that take you? I totally forget, actually. I actually totally forgot that this thing was here. But we can't go in there yet. I ran when I saw the monsters in the volcano. A huge boulder fell and trapped Arion. Only a mega grenade can free him. How do you use one? Just throw it. 
All oh, right, I like this guy. Throwing bombs now. Okay, Mega Grenade. 162, we have something stronger than his uh, Morning Star. Oh, yeah, something stupid, by the way. His Morning Star is an axe attack for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. So, yeah, there you go. And that's that's our highest bomb we can get. That's that's the best bomb you get in the game. So we're we're filled up with bombs. We have uh, our first uh, collection of three, and we got to save them because we're uh, we're really low on them. Actually, I think you can buy them. Uh, no, actually, I don't think you can. Can this guy sell them to you? Yeah, okay, he does. Damn, I really don't want to spend all my money on bombs. So I'm going to spy. I don't know what the hell, we'll buy 25. Yeah, it's enough for now. And yeah, you might notice uh, Ruben's uh, level bar is kind of uh, kind of cluttered his health bar now. His health bar is kind of small. Yeah, that's what happens when you get above level. I don't know what level. I don't know what level I have to be above. I think I have to be above level 21 or whatever. But as you can see, we have a lot. Of, no, we have quite a bit to catch up on him. Um, I think we, we can catch up on him like, in these uh, upcoming levels. I think we can catch up to him in levels. It's just gonna take a little while. That being said, I'm gonna show off some of these guys and then I'll call it quits on this game. Yeah, see, like this guy, Ruben uses a Morning Star. It's, act, it's an axe attack, and it's strong against this thing. Yep. It does a lot of damage though. Is this guy only gonna is this part only gonna show trees or something? I really hope not. Because there's just like a couple guys here that need to get shown off. Or I think there's three of them though. Three or four. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna go here and Yes, okay, so we got some porcupines, and we got uh, another jelly dude. Oh, the battle axe is actually stronger than I thought it was. Usually I didn't think it killed guys in one hit. And, oh, sweet, level up. Alright, we're making progress. See, I think this one shows different enemies too, does it? Not. Maybe not. Maybe it does, I don't know. Too early to tell. And it's only gonna, I think it's only going to show the porcupine jellyfish and... And, um, the tree. I think there's one more guy we can show off. No, I think there's one or two more guys, actually. A lot of these battlefields show off some random guys. Oh, thank God you attacked the porcupine, because I can take these guys out with one hand. And so can you, apparently. I know that. Come on, I know there's another guy in here. Yes, these guys. I have to sneeze, too. Oh, wow, and I can't take him, take him out with one hand, apparently. I think there's one more guy I need to show off. I can think, I, I can think of another guy. And it's not the tree. I can just show off that one guy. I swear there's one more guy. And I, I, like, I'm thinking of him right now. He's like a red, one of those red hat guys. Oh wow, double the damage. Double trouble, okay. So I swear, I swore he was in like one of these battlefields here. Maybe not, I don't know. If I could at least just show off all these enemies, I'd like to... I mean, maybe he's in here, actually. I don't think he is. Up here is the mine, by the way. That's where we're going to go in the next, uh, next part. But... Yes, these guys. Okay, perfect. Ooh.
Damn it. God fucking damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna attack him. That's all they're gonna do is try and get me to sleep. Okay, and that's uh, that'll be it for this uh, this part of uh, playing once more. So, anyways, be sure to tune into uh, the next episode, and we'll continue on. We'll go into the mine. We'll have all these battlefields cleared out. I think one or two of them have uh, some items, so I'd like to show those off. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it for this episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. We got the crystal. All right, awesome. And I will see you in the next part. Have a good day.